Welcome to the yoga room. Today we'll be on the floor the entire 15 minutes. And these are the nice things to have. This is a towel rolled up like a cannoli. So you can see I folded the towel in half and then rolled it up. So everybody should have a towel and a blanket. You can use a firm blanket that you can fold depending on how tight your hamstrings are. Okay. And a block. We're going to push the block like so. But for some people, if you have a bowl, a bowl will work, or a book. Uh, I have this pillow. If you have a big pillow, you could push, push the pillow. Uh, so something you can slide that uh, is firm. Okay, and of course, we'll use a belt. So if you have a yoga belt, great. If you have a cloth strap, just something that you can hold, wrap around your foot and hold. So those are the three, or there, there are more than three. So I call them toys. So we're gonna be on the floor with our toys today, okay? So let's just start with the blanket folded under the hips. Okay, some people need it folded up higher. As you do more yoga, the goal is to have a right angle between the thigh and the torso. So if you have tight hamstrings, that's what the cannoli is for. You can put your knees, put the cannoli under your knees. Okay, I don't really need it, but if you have tight knee, tight hamstrings, this feels good. Okay. So that's what the towel is for. So let's take your block, bowl, or pillow and just push down on it, push down it, opening the back of the knees as much as you can, lifting the toes, kneecaps up, and press down. So toes up, kneecaps up, top of the head up, sit bones down, and just push on the block to help lengthen the spine lengthen the back of the neck, and then push the block forward. As you push, check in with your heart. You don't want the heart to move back, but just to, to stay dangling like a jewel in the box of your rib cage. So that may mean you only push a little bit. It may mean you can push a little further. Whatever you can do is where you are, and that's pretty good, okay? So push the block. Lift the kneecaps up, toenails up, push the block, lengthen the spine. Look down, relaxing the jaw, inviting the jaw to loosen. And we're gonna push the block, bowl or pillow over to the right foot and push. Now, when you push, you have to put some grain in the left back buttock and push that left back buttock down. Otherwise you roll, we don't want to roll. So you may not push the block that far towards the foot. Again, the kneecap is up, sit bones are down, top of the head up. So you're getting a stretch in the lower back, kidneys, side body. back to the center, press down on the block, look down, look up, stretching the thyroid, look straight ahead, and then push the block to the left. When you're in here on the left, put some brain in the back of the right buttock, push down, lengthen the spine, you'll feel a nice stretch in the lower back, kidney, Push down on the block, look down, look straight ahead, bring the hands out and open up really wide like you're going to hug, hug. 
a huge teddy bear. Okay. Squeeze the upper back. And now just bring your feet together, hug yourself. And then open up and take your hands. I'll turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Take your hands, turn the fingers back, and press the hands down, press the feet down, and lift the heart. Squeeze the upper back. Good. And now we're going to come on our tabletop. So this is the tabletop, nice and flat. And we're gonna wag the tail. So we're keeping our spines supple, wagging the tail. And now, think about your heart. You're gonna move the heart forward and back. Forward and back. So we're moving from the heart. Move the heart forward, heart back. Heart forward, heart back. Heart forward, heart back. And then pause. Move the hands forward and now drop the heart to the floor. And then just move the heart again, back and forth. And we're going to then roll the shoulders like a lion prowling, okay? Just roll the shoulders. And then dip the heart and come back up. Whatever feels good, roll that upper back. Okay, now we're going to send this right toe back and then flex and flip the foot. Flex and flip. Flex and flip. Flex and flip. And one more time, flex. So really stretching the leg and the back of the leg and then flipping it. Okay, send the left leg back, toe down, flex and flip, flex and flip, flex and flip, flex and flip. Okay, now move the knees apart, the big toes together, and push back. You can take a block or drop your head. If it's too far to drop your head, drop your head on a block. Now plant your elbows up, slide your left hand under the bridge, so to say, and drop the temple. So I'm dropping the right temple onto the block, or if you don't have a block, onto the floor. And now we'll go the other direction, take the left hand under, dropping the other temple. Now, we're going to do a pose called the Pigeon Pose. And from the front, it would look like this. So you bring that right knee forward and then turn the shin and drop down. So it's a big stretch here, okay? So from the side, 
If you have your blocks, it's good to put your blocks in front. Okay, so bring the right knee forward, turn the foot, and stretch the left leg out. Okay, so you could just hang out here. This is a big, intense stretch and rock the canoe, so to say, from side to side. So now, this foot, this left foot, we're going to put the toe down and lift the knee up. Okay? And lift the inner groin up. So the left knee off the mat, the inner groin up, Lengthen the back of the neck. Drop the knee, point the toe, come on down on your elbows. You can rock the canoe, wag your tail. Now put your left elbow down and put the left side of the face in the hand and turn. And cut back to the center and now roll a marble from your navel to your chin and look up. out, come back into tabletop, and push back for a moment. Okay, next we're going to do the left knee comes forward, okay, and then you turn that sideways and come down, okay, like so. From the side, Bring the right left knee forward, turn the foot, and stretch the right foot back. Okay? And just rock your canoe, so how it feels when you're in the canoe. Stretching deep into the left hip. Now we're going to take that right toe, put it down, and lift the right knee off the mat. Look down. And then drop the knee, point the foot, come down on your elbows, and rock the canoe again. down your right elbow and hold the right side of your head in the hand. Take your left hand back and twist. Twist into pigeon pose. Nice stretch here. Come forward. Come back into tabletop. Push back. Bring that up. And let's go back to where we started. If you want to put your blanket underneath your hips. Okay, and now just bend your knees and sashay. So knees going side to side. We're going to add on. So left knee comes forward, left shoulder 
right knee. So we got the shoulder in on the action. And now this is a bun brain puzzle, good as doing a crossword. So left knee comes forward and the right shoulder comes to meet it. So just opposite. And it takes, you have to use your neuroplasticity to do this bilateral movement. So left knee and coming towards right shoulder, right shoulder coming towards left knee, left shoulder coming towards right knee. Fold our knees and just pull back on the knees, lengthen the spine, invite the jaw to relax, the eyes to relax. Find your heart, smile into your heart. Breathe into your heart. And let's send, collect some heart energy here. Inhale, exhale. And then send the love out there into the world. So thank you for inviting me into your house. Today is Tuesday. I will see you Thursday at 4 o'clock for another mini yoga lesson. Thank you for inviting me. See you soon.